Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins, and today we are doing an episode of Hunting Nickels with Raven. So guys, we're going to open this bad boy, hopefully it's circulated and we find some good stuff. I should say ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why I say guys so much, it just seems to be a habit, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Alright, here we go, so we have dun 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 circ! Calculated nickels. Very cool. So we're going to get these bad boys out. And if there are any obvious enders like buffaloes or war nickels or what have you, we'll open them live on film. And if not, we'll be right back. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, so we are back with our nickel mids. Yes, the world famous nickel mids. And hunting nickels with Raven. No obvious enders. But you never know, you just might find something good. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have gotten through the first of the nickel mids, and guys and girls, the 2009 streak is still alive. Look at that beautiful. Cannot believe it, guys. That was in the very last roll of the nickel mid. I was really shocked to find it. So this one is a 1953. It's a Philly, and last but not least, a 1952 Philly. So not too bad. The 50s do have a lot of what would be considered semi-key dates, and especially you're looking for that 1950 Denver because that is the best key date in Jefferson Nichols. Guys, we got four more of these to go through. We'll see what we find. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, so we got through the second of the nickel mids, and we have some finds. The first one is a 1946, and it is a Philly, followed by a second 46. And what really surprised me in this go-around, guys, is things came in pairs. Uh, let's see here. I think that has a, yep, it has a D mint mark. So a 46 Philly and a 46 D. Then we have a 19, two 1941s, guys. This one's a Philly. And the next one up is, let's see, it's another Philly. All right, so we have two from the four, or four from the 40s, two of each year that we found. We have three more nickel mids to go. Let's see what we find. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, so we've gotten through the third of the nickel mids. We have one little find, and you know what? I'm fine with that. Either way, it's cool to find stuff. This one is a 1939, and my focus is trying to pick up on stuff in the background, so let's try this. Oh, come on, little 39. There we go, 1939, and what's the reverse say? It's a Philly, and uh, we got two more of these to go through, guys, but one of the reasons that I go through nickels, is you can always find something cool. The 2009s, as you can see, one and half of a box is still showing that it's a pretty rare occurrence to get those. I am on an epic streak, guys, so I that's why I called this one Nickel Hunting with Raven. Um, I'm changing it up and doing episodes from now on for the nickel hunts and other coin hunts uh, because I want to track this a little bit better. So... Here we go. We're going to get into the next one. Raven Hot Coins. Stay tuned. All right, so we have gotten through number four of the nickel mids, guys and girls. We have some good finds. So the first one to start off is a 1958 Denver, followed up by a whole bunch in the 40s. We got a 1949 Denver, a 1947 Philly. 1946 Philly then it drops down to a 1941 I was hoping for some silver in there somewhere but I have not seen it yet guys and this is a Philly last but not least another 1939 Philly so we have one more nickel mid to get through hopefully you find something good but hey you can't go wrong at least you're having fun right Raven Hot Coins stay tuned all right, everybody, so we got through the last of the world-famous nickel mids. We have some finds. 
This first one, kind of beat up. It's a 1954, but hey, what I thought was cool is from San Francisco, but it's pretty worn. What can you do, right? The next one is a 1958 San Francisco, which kind of surprised me. We got multiple Friscos in the box. A 47 Denver. And last but not least, a 1938. So a first year Jefferson. And guys and girls, we have a couple 39s. We kept the 2009 streak alive. And uh, we're going to start keeping a tally from this box forward. We're at 1 2009. But with a streak that we hope will keep on going. Make sure that you guys support all the channels out there. And help everybody grow. And if you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Or P.O. Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Make sure to take care of one another, guys and girls. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day!